this Monday morning. It's another one of those mornings when I'm afraid we're bringing you some terrible news. Uh, we're going to take you back to our main story today about an attack involving a van which hit a crowd of pedestrians near Finsbury Park Mosque uh, around about midnight overnight, killing one person and hospitalising eight others. Uh, the Muslim Council of Britain said that worshippers had been targeted in the attack. Mohammed Sh Shafiq is the chief executive of the Ramadan Foundation and joins us now. Morning to you. Thanks very much for joining us again. Morning, and it appears from what we know that uh, people were deliberately targeted in this attack what do you what's your response yeah we obviously shocking once again uh, we are here again and innocent life is being lost uh, on our streets and we've just got to say enough is enough whether it's extremists who do it in the name of Isis or whether it's far-right extremism human life is sacred and we've all got to uh, reflect on our language we've all got to reflect on how we debate issues um, I just think we've all got to come together and you know one year after the brutal murder of Joe Cox uh, just brings it home to you that uh, behind every statistic and behind every political debate there are families involved there are people involved and my heart goes out to them tonight and oh, also sorry, this uh, mm. i'm not slept sorry so no, no, right. it's been it's been a week, so we appreciate yeah. it's been a, a very night. long night and, a, yeah. and continues into a long morning for you as well can i read you something um asif hussein sure. who's also chief executive of the muslim council of britain has said this morning on uh, radio five live that people in the muslim community would have seen this coming can you can you explain a little bit more about what what do you think he meant by that well i think what he means is that there is a, a rampant islamophobia you look at some of the commentators that in the media you, you know who they are i won't name them uh who don't reflect on the language that they use and as I said th that there is a increase in the number of attacks after terrorist atrocities we know of a number of mosques even here in the Northwest that were attacked after the Manchester uh, uh, terrorist atrocity and so all of us have got to reflect on that language but yeah there's many of us in the Muslim community who have been banging the head uh, against the, the wall to ministers to say look you've got to take this very very seriously and I hope when the Prime Minister speaks later uh, she recognizes that and of course, uh, you know, there is a lot of uh, feeling there this morning as well, as there has been in London over the last few weeks or so. What would you say to people today? Just stay together and don't allow the terrorists to divide us. Whatever your background, whatever your ethnicity, whatever your faith, let's stick together. We're British people and, and, and our values of tolerance and respect are, are stronger than what the terrorists want to achieve. Mohammed, you mentioned that the murder of, of Joe Cox. Um, her husband, um, Brendan Cox, has, has been, uh, I would say, releasing a statement. He's been uh, uh, mentioning something on social media this morning. And he said, when Islamic terrorists attack us, we rightly seek out hate preachers who spur them on. He says, we must do the same to those who peddle Islamophobia. And I, I, that really does chime with the message you're telling us Absolutely, this yeah. And, you know, the, that particular mosque was actually celebrating the breaking of iftar as part of a, a commemoration of Joe Cox's a contribution to our life. So yeah, we have to call these hate preachers out. I mean, if you just, if I were to show you my timeline, uh, the amount of hatred uh, that I've received over the last 12 hours is absolutely shocking. But that's a daily occurrence for many of us mm. who are in a prominent position. So yeah, let's stick together. Let's not let terrorists divide us. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks very much thank for you. your time. I just bring you some news as well from Chris Mason, our political